So since I met you guys and started to train with you, the biggest change that I've made in my life is my diet. So I've cut out sugar, gluten, dairy and all the bad stuff and the difference that it's made to my health and well-being has been huge. I no longer get afternoon dips in energy, I've got um, energy to work all day. I feel so much better in myself. So to begin with I thought it would be difficult to give up bread and all the usual stuff that I was used to eating but actually it's not been that difficult at all because for me the health benefits way outweigh giving up things that I thought were treats before. Um, so the difference that it's made in terms of how I feel about myself, my confidence in my body, and my relationship overall with food. Like now, I eat several times more a day than I did before, um, and I don't worry about how many calories I'm eating or fat or, or worry about all of those things that women tend to worry about. I just eat good quality, healthy food, and it makes me feel great. So the biggest thing that I've learned from working with Arita is actually about changing my mindset around my health and fitness. Um, by understanding the benefits and the reasons why I do what I do. So for me, my big why is around my health. And once I really understood that and got clear on my mindset as to why I'm doing what I'm doing, I found it very, very easy to make the changes in my life. I'm healthier, fitter, and more balanced than I've ever been. Uh, what's been the biggest change for you with working the Rico Fitness? I think it's my um, my positivity towards exercise. I, I no longer just exercise because um, I think I want to lose weight. I, I exercise because I want to get stronger and I want to achieve more. Okay. And what does working the Rico Fitness mean to you? Um, it's really important. It gives me quite a lot of structure to my week. I look forward to the sessions uh, twice a week. I enjoy meeting the people that um, come to the sessions as well. I've made some really, really good friends. Um, and I think it's a really positive influence. Like They're really positive. They encourage us to um, push ourselves in each session. And to me, that's really important because that's one of the things I want to achieve through my fitness goal. As I said before, I think it's one of those things where it's no longer um, just seeing going to the gym as um, sort of dropping a dress size or fitting in with like society's aim of what you should or shouldn't look like. Um, and it's it's made me realise that the reasons I exercise are actually quite different to to most other people. I want to get stronger. I want to be the fittest I can. Um, and you only get one life, I want to achieve as much as I can you know, with the exercise that I do and I, I've set loads of new goals, so I did the London Marathon, I did the Paris Marathon and um, they've encouraged me to, to try lots of other things and Phil has been trying to encourage me to get into bodybuilding but he's not quite got there yet, so strength training is fine but bodybuilding I'm not going there. About three years ago when I first met Tim um, and we started training together, I originally approached him because I was coming up to my 30th and I did that usual thing of like, right, my party's in a month, make me skinny, make me look fabulous. And he kind of humoured me to begin with, but it, it became pretty obvious pretty quickly that, you know, his ethic was very different from that and we continued working together after that and over the last three years we've just kind of really um, developed that it's gone gone much beyond just kind of a quick fix thing and now it's it's just I train with him because I love it and he's very inspiring I think it's the it's making you realize that it's not just about what you're doing in the gym or even just what you're eating you've got to look at your lifestyle as a whole and um, try to make changes that are going to be sustainable and uh, can work for you long term not setting yourself unrealistic goals that that you just can't keep to and that's been the biggest change I think a real shift in my own focus of what I'm looking to do and looking to achieve what Phil and Tim do that's different to other people is they really try to to give you a, a sort of a program which is going to work for you without 
making too much of an impact on your life, to make small changes here and there that you're going to be able to keep going and sustain and that are, are going to really able, they're going to really make you reach your goals over a long period rather than just in the very short term.